Hey, what's up guys, it's Darkroom Duels, and today we're gonna be doing a DDD deck profile. So I'm really excited this, you guys, because this deck is hands down one of the craziest combo decks I have ever played, but also one of the most fun decks I've ever played. I'm super excited to show you guys how this deck has changed with all the new support that came out of Battle of Chaos, because this deck has changed a lot since the last update. So I'm super excited to show you guys all those changes in this video. So without further ado, you guys, don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell there so you can come part notification squad and definitely check out the patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards like getting your name in the description of a single video getting assigned cards in the mail and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to our patron along with test hand so without further ado let's get straight on into this so first off we're gonna be playing three copies of dd griffin this card is one of the new cards that we got out of battle of chaos but it is super good for the deck it has a pendulum effect that you can target one fiend monster that you control and it gains 500 attack points and until the end of this term for every dark contract spell or trap with a different name currently on your field or in your graveyard then destroy this card and you can only use this effect this card once per turn its monster effect is that if you control a dd monster you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position and if this card is in its pendulum summoned then you can discard a dd or a dark contract card to be able to draw a card and if this card is special summoned from the graveyard you can add one dd card from your deck to your hand which is a pretty good effect this card is a really good card to be able to summon to your side of the field and it is a great combo piece for this deck we then play three copies of copernicus copernicus is such a good card for this deck because it has the ability that if this card is normal or special summon you get to send a dd or dark contract card from your deck to the graveyard which is very very good in this deck to be able to send any of your monsters that you need from your deck to the graveyard we then play three copies of Kepler. Kepler is kind of the searcher of the deck because this card has the ability, if this card is normal summon or special summon, you get to activate one of these effects. But the one that you're always going to be activating is to add a dark contract from your deck to your hand, which is very important because basically this card searches the searcher of the deck. We then play three copies of DD Swirl Slime. This card is insanely good in this deck as a three up because it has the ability, if this card is in your hand, you can fusion summon a DDD fusion monster from your X deck using monsters from your hand as fusion materials, including this card. And you can manage this card from the graveyard to be able to special summon one DD monster from your hand. And you can only use each effect of this card once per turn. You can actually use both effects in the same turn, which is really insane. We then play two copies of Orthos. Orthos is a good two of as well. I really recently put this card at two in the deck and I won't put it at one to begin with and I really fell in love with this card as a two of in the deck because I bumped it up to two and it just works so well because it's a tuner, it's a level four and it's a really good effect to once per turn target a spell or trap card on the field and one other DD or dark contract you control and destroy them. It's a really good effect because sometimes you want to get your copies of your dark contracts off the field while also with cards like skill drain running around this card helps you out to put this card in the pendulum zone to pop those cards off the field. It's also its monster effect is, is that when you take battle or effect damage you can special summon this card from your hand and if this card is special summoned to your field you can't special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except fiend monsters which is not the big of a deal because the majority of the time all we're going to be summoning is fiends anyways. We then play a single copy of DDD Oblivion King Abyss Ragnarok. Abyss Ragnarok is a great one of now in this deck. I used to play three copies of this card, but with all the new support, I've recently bumped it down to one. And it has the ability that it's a pendulum effect is, is that if you special summon a DD monster, except during the damage step, then you can target a DD monster in the graveyard and any battle damage your opponent takes becomes half for the rest of the turn, but you get to special summon that monster. And if you do, you take a thousand points of damage. And then you only use the effect of this card once per turn. Its monster effect is insanely good because it has the ability, if this card is normal or special summon, you can target a DDD monster in your graveyard and special summon it. And you can only use the effect of this card once per turn. And once per turn, you can treat one other DD monster and then target one monster your opponent controls and banish it, which is a really, really good effect. We then play just a single copy of Necro Slime. This card is kind of like a miracle fusion for the deck that if this card is in the graveyard, you can fusion summon a DDD fusion monster from your extract by banishing materials list on it from the graveyard graveyard including this card which is a pretty good effect to be able to basically just use this card kind of like a miracle fusion we then play just a single copy of lamia because it's a good combo piece for the deck as a level one tuner you still got to play a single copy of lamia in the deck because it helps you go in for different synchro plays one copy of vice typhon vice typhon is good because it helps you go in for different fusion plays in the deck so you play a single copy of this card one copy of savant thomas savant thomas i've kind of considered cutting out all out of the deck altogether, but i've ended up just playing one of it and i've really liked it and it's worked out as a one-up but 
It has the ability that during the main phase, you can add one face up DD pendulum monster from your extract to your hand. Its monster effect is, is that you can target a DD card in your pendulum zone and destroy that card. And if you do special summon one level eight DDD monster from your deck and defense position. But for the rest of the turn, if, if the effect is negated, even if the effect is negated, any battle damage your opponent takes becomes halved, which is not that big of a deal, but it does get you another monster on the field, which is why I've still played this card at one. We then play an optional card. You don't have to play this card if you don't want to you can take it out for another hand trap if you want to but it's a single copy of go ddd divine zero king rage i played this card as a one of in the deck but it was a manga promo so you can take it out of the deck if you want to it's totally up to you you don't have to play it but it is a really good card if you do have access to it but if you want to take it out you can take it out for another hand trap it's totally up to you but it's a really good card for the deck because it has a pendulum effective if you would take um a effect damage you can take no damage or you take no damage and if you normal summon you can normal summon a level five or higher dd monster and if you do you can do it without tribute summoning which is a pretty good effect because you have a couple of monsters in this deck like your copy of oblivion king that's a really high level that you can normal summon to your field but it's monster effects is when it gets really crazy that when this card declares an attack if your opponent's life points are four thousand or less you can make this card gain attack equal to the your opponent's life points until the end of this turn you can be destroyed by battle and you don't take any battle damage from battles involving this card and you can treat a monster to apply one of these three effects this card can attack directly which can close out a game your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in the spell and trap card zone or your opponent cannot activate cards and effects in their hand or grave really good card you don't have to play it if you don't want to if you don't have access to it that's okay take it out for another hand trap but if you do definitely play it as a one of so that's it for the monsters guys let's get into the hand traps so for the hand traps we're playing in this deck, we're going to be playing three copies of Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom is really good in the deck because it basically stops your opponent from touching the deck. Three co or two copies of Ghost Spell. This is the card that I would recommend that if you want to play by another hand trap, you can drop out the copy of the Go DDD Divine Zero King Rage for a third copy of Ghost Spell. Really good card. Basically stops the opponent from touching the graveyard. And then two copies of Effect Veil. This is another card that you can drop the copy of the Go DDD Divine zero king rage for to be able to play an additional copy of effect veiler to give you that extra monster in the game which is pretty good for the deck so that's pretty much it for the hand traps guys let's get into the spells so for the spells, we're going to be playing a single copy of Monster Reborn. This is just a really good extender for the deck to get you all sorts of different monsters back on your side of the field. One copy of Called by the Grave to basically stop your opponent from hand trapping you. Really helpful to play this card in the deck. One copy of One for One because this card is absolutely insane to get you any of your level 1 DDD monsters on your side of the field. It was just super helpful while also getting a monster from your hand into the graveyard. One copy of Dark Contract with Patton. This card is just really, really good. Because it has the ability that if you control a special summon monster, or if your opponent controls a special summon monster, excuse me, if your opponent special summons a monsters with the same card type as a fusion, synchro, exe, or link as a DDD monster that you control except during the damage step, you can inflict a thousand points of damage to your opponent. Also, while this card is on the field, your opponent cannot special summon monsters with the same card type as that special summoned monster for the rest of the turn. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add a DD monster from your graveyard or one face up DD pendulum monster from your extract to your hand. Really good card effect because you're gonna be summoning out all sorts of different monsters to your side of the field and doing that thousand points of burn damage is just super, super good. We then play a single copy of Dark Contract with the Swamp King. This card is basically a polymerization, which is pretty much the big effect of this card. It's a really good card for this deck, and it's super, super helpful. We play three copies of Dark Contract with the Gate. Dark Contract with the Gate is a search card for the deck, but during the main phase, you can add a DD monster from your deck to your hand, which is a pretty good effect to be able to add any of your DD monsters from your deck to your hand. Super good card for this deck. And let me play three copies of the map. This card is really good because this card lets you add any monster from your deck to your hand. It's be the first card that you activate, but it lets you add any monster from your deck to your hand that has zero attack 
and but you take half your life points which is not that big of a deal because usually in this deck you're going to be comboing off to make this insane board on your side of the field so playing this card and getting the exact combo piece that you need like a copy of kepler a copy of your go ddd king zero king rage is just super good for this deck to be able to get any of the cards that have zero attack from your deck to your hand but you have to normal summon the card or its effects are negated which is a really good effect for this deck to be able to balance out this card but you're usually going to search out your copy of kepler to be able to normal summon it to get your copy of your dark contract to then be able to go for all those crazy plays so that's it for the spells guys let's get into the traps so for the traps, we're going to be playing a single copy of DDD Headhunt. This card is really, really good for this deck because it has the ability that if you control a DDD monster, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls, take control of it until the end phase of this turn. But its effects are negated and it also has the ability that it can't declare an attack. Also, if it is a monster, special summon from the X deck, it is also treated as a DDD monster. And you only play this card once per turn. Basically, this card is kind of like your copy of Crackdown. This card is really, really good. And I really love this card as a one of in this deck. It's super searchable and it's just so good. We then play a single copy with Dark Contract of Eternal Darkness. This card is just so good in the deck as a one of. And I highly recommend this card as a one of because it has the ability that while you have two DD monsters in your pendulum zone, your opponent cannot target monsters on the field with spell and trap effects and you can tribute or tribute them for tribute summons nor use them as materials for a fusion synchro or xz and then once per turn during your stamina phase you take a thousand points of damage which is usually the standard effect of all of your dark contract cards that you're going to take a thousand points of damage but this card is really really good for this deck as a one of because it just shuts down so much this card is so good as a one of so that's it for the main deck guys let's get into the extra deck so for the extra deck, we're going to be playing two copies of DD Divisor Gang. This card is the new XZ that we got out of the Battle of Chaos. And this card has hands down one of the best artworks in the entire game, in my opinion. I love this card. This card is on par with me with the Golden Gucci Lord. And I love this card for the deck. For you guys who don't know, that's actually the Eldridge of the Golden Lord. But this card is really, really good for this deck. It has the ability that in its pendulum effect is, is while you have a card in your other pendulum zone, you can target one pendulum monster that you control or in the graveyard and special summon, uh, special summon the card in your other pendulum zone. And if you do, place the targeted pendulum monster in your other pendulum zone, basically being able to fix your scales with this card being a scale 10, that is super, super good for the deck to be able to just pendulum summon all sorts of different cards out with this card. It also has a great monster effect that you can also XZ summon this card using any DDD monster that you control as a material, basically letting you go into a one card XZ summon. This card is insane for the deck. It also has the ability that you transfer any materials to it to this card. And you can only use the effect of this card once per, or you can only control one copy of this card in your monster zone. And once per chain, when a monster card or your opponent's cards activates its effect, quick effect, you can uh, you can either detach two materials from this card or destroy one dark contract card you control. And if you do, attach that opponent's card to this card as a material, which basically makes it a Cyber Dragon Infinity as well, which is super, super good. It also has the ability that once per turn during your stamina phase, you can place this card in your pendulum zone, giving you a free scale 10. That's super good. We then play a single copy of DDD Wave King or Wave High King Caesar. This card is a good one of in the deck as well because basically it has the ability that when a spell, a trap, or monster effect is activated, that includes the effect to special summon a monster quick effect you can detach from doing this card to negate the activation if you destroy that card. And it also has the ability that you can then make one other DD monster that you control. And this card gain 1800 attack until the end of the turn. And if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add a dark contract from your deck to your hand. This card is super easy to summon in this deck and a really really powerful card we then play a single copy of king tell king tell is really good in the deck because it has the ability that you can also exist on this card using a rank 4 ddd monster that you control as a material and then once per turn during either player's turn if you took effect damage this turn then you can detach a material from this card and then target one face up monster on the field it loses a thousand attack and defense and if it does you inflict a thousand points of damage to your opponent and if this card is sent from the field of the grave then you can send one dd or dark contract from your deck to 
the grave. This card is super easy to summon because you're always going to XZ summon it on top of your Wave King Caesar, which is a really easy card to summon on your side of the field. We then play a single copy of Divine Arsenal Double A Zeus just in case we need to board wipe, which is just really good. One copy of Cursed King Siegfried. Cursed King Siegfried is really good in the deck because it's a walking negate and it's just super good. Speaking of walking negates, we play a single copy of Baron de Fleur. Baron de Fleur is a really good card in this deck because it's a pop and a negate, which is just super good. Getting into the fusion monsters, we're playing a single copy of Flame King High Genghis. Genghis is really easy to summon in this deck and is a really, really good one of because it has the ability that if another DD monster is normal or special summon to your field while you control this card, you can target a DD monster in the graveyard and special summon it, which is a really good effect. And it also has the ability that once per turn, when a spell or trap is activated, you can quick effect negate the activation. So he's also a walking negate while he's a monster reborn at the same time. We then play two copies of Little Genghis. Little Genghis is really good as well because it's a, basically a walking monster reborn, which is just super good because it has the ability if another DD monster is special summoned to your field. While you control this face up card, then you can target DD monster in the graveyard and special summon it, which is just such a good effect. One copy of Oracle King Dark. Dark is just good because basically it makes it so that you inflict um, any effect damage that would inflict damage to you makes you gain light points, which is really good during time. And then we play three copies of DDD Abyss King Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh is so good in this deck for the link arrows. It fixes your pendulum scales, and it's just such a good card. It's such a key combo piece for this deck. So that's it for the deck, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely tell me what you think of this deck down in the comments down below. I really love all the new support that we've gotten from this deck. It's helped out the deck a lot, and it's changed so much with all this new support, and I'm super excited to see what this deck can do. So anyways, guys, this is Darkroom Duels. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell on there so you can come to our notification squad, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.